to your main menu. You're going to want to put Korean on here possibly, so if you want to do that, go to uh, International, which is right here. Click on it, and you see that you've got languages that you can add there. So let's put Korean in there. If you can't find Korean, click Edit List and it will bring you more languages. Find Korean. And then, so once you have got Korean in there, notice down here, Order for Sorted Lists. You want to put Korean right underneath English. English is first. And I think you can actually drag and drop. If Korean's way down here at the bottom, you can just click on it and drag it up to second place under English. That way, when you go up here to... Hold on one sec. Go over to Input Menu so that you can switch between Korean and English at any time. And click this button down here, Show Input Menu and Menu Bar. That's how you will get this little thing right here. And right now it's the American flag, which shows that I've got American English going. If I want to switch to Korean, mm, there's actually a way that you can set it. Okay, on input menu, click Hangul, and then figure out which one of these is the kind that you want. There's a lot of different uh, Korean types there, so just click the one that you are used to typing on. Let's pretend that it's two set Korean. I don't know what that means, I don't type Korean. So, alright, so that's saved. And now when we go back up here, we'll see that I can switch from English to Korean. And now I've got Korean as my input language for my keyboard. And I'm going to switch back to U.S. English. It's that simple. All right, go back.